After nearly 20 months, the U.S.-Mexico border has reopened to non-essential travel. Nine on your side's Greg Bradbury joins us live from the Deconcini Port of Entry in Nogales. Greg, what does it look like there right now? Good evening, Pat. You can see some cars are heading back into Mexico right now, but throughout the day it was quite the opposite. Cars coming back into the United States and many of them coming for shopping. The cash registers are busy as shoppers from Mexico get back to stores in Nogales. Isabel Navarro is bringing fresh stock to the shelves at Davina. She says she is already seeing more customers. Antes, uh, cinco, seis gentes en el día, people per day. Ahorita como 15, 20 gentes. It's good. Do more, and more people, more business, more money. Yeah. Isabel's husband, Jose, says today was a start after a difficult stretch. This store is closer, uh, six, seven months, and I'm open a little bit. I don't have uh, uh, workers and work, me and my wife. Uh, I don't know, a little hard. Just down the street at Cheese, Charles Park says that they are seeing more customers search the shelves. You know, it'd be great if, uh, if this pace maintains itself. Park says that while a number of businesses are seeing supply chain issues, his is ready for the demand to pick up. Stocks are still in the back way to get out. It's just people are now here. Move, things are moving a little bit more better. So it's not really a matter of supplies. It's just getting the items to leave the stock first. You know. But for now, both say this weekend is when they expect more people to come by. I'm waiting two years to bury you back. So one to three, four days more, it's okay. Now, one of the reasons they say this weekend could be big is because some of the people who live further away from the border in Mexico will have more time to come up and really spend their time here in the United States. Reporting live in Nogales, Greg Bradbury, KGA 9 on your side.